Hi, this is Bhagya Shri and welcome all of you on Shiksha's coverage on JE Main April session, which is the second attempt for students. Well, joining us ahead in this video will be Mr. Ramesh Bartlish from Fiji, who will be guiding you step by step on how to improve your score for the second attempt. So, few things what will give you an edge in the April session will be your time management, your completion of syllabi, your learning from your previous mistakes, your notes what you prepared uh, you know in the last few years of your JE preparation and of course uh, your health which is very very important so these things you have to be keeping in mind and self belief that's what will take you a, give an edge uh, in your exam because you must have that minimum self confidence because that's required in an exam like JE main i i always call JE main as an exam which requires speed and accuracy so this will be the key to your success you know if you have the right speed if you have accurate with your options and without getting negative too much in negative scores and i'm sure you're going to do very very well in the jee main coming up that if you have a 3 hour paper you should not give an exactly 1 hour initially itself so take the paper in two rounds allocate 40 40 40 minutes for each of the three subjects in the first round try attempting 10 easier questions in the first round in each subject this way you would have solved at least 30 questions in the first round when you attempted the 30 questions in the first round you will have a fair idea which subject is slightly easier or slightly tougher or maybe requiring more calculations ignore that subject in the second round initially because uh, that subject will not fetch you marks because it's if it if like if it has lengthy questions in the second round start with the subject which is slightly easier let's say chemistry you found easier start with the second round in that paper in like in the, like with that subject and try attempting at least 5 5 questions each if you find chemistry slightly easier you can attempt 8 to 9 questions also in the second round or you may complete all the questions chemistry for that matter this will give you an edge the key to uh, attempting these papers j main is that you should attempt all questions correctly avoid negative marking because here each mark plays a crucial role so if you have correctly solved all the questions let's say minimum 45 questions you have attempted in both the rounds 45 into 4 you easily get 180 marks trust yourself firstly and then if you find some kind of uh, situation where you're getting nervous or you're getting anxiety talk to your parents talk to your teachers they are the best people to help you at this point of time avoid talking too many to your friends every student is preparing differently every student is having different level of you know kind of um, confidence level maybe some student of your some friend of yours may not be reappearing in jee main he would have done very well in the janvi attempt so he will say oh i'm not writing the jee main exam this will also you know you can say create some kind of panic because you will be you will be wondering you know why i am uh, taking the april session again when my friend is not writing so it's uh, it's better to avoid talking to too many people best is to speak to your parents your teachers trust yourself refer to your notes okay have a healthy diet you can practice yoga meditation you know in the last two three days how about sound sleep of at least 6 to 7 hours every day avoid waking up late night get up early in the morning you know have a quick walk or do some kind of meditation start your day with a positive mindset keep telling yourself i'll do really well this time in jee main i'm going to make it i'm going to get into the top and i'd be all i'll get into jee advanced the top college i'll cross 99% barrier keep talking positively about yourself the positive mindset will take you ahead of the others and that's going to that's is also going to contribute to your towards your uh, you know a good score in jee main so have a positive mindset keep your body fit healthy avoid overeating avoid eating from outside healthy cooked food from home is going to work wonders for you keep yourself balanced avoid doing something in extremes attempting questions which you do not know tend to get negative marks remember this and every mark is important for you best is to attempt all the easier and moderate questions every paper has at least 50% questions which will be easy even if you have solved 50% paper correctly you still stand a chance to get a, uh, to, uh, like to get a good score so best is avoid guesswork so 180 plus is a very good score securing getting allowing you to get into the 99 plus uh, barrier so you will cross that barrier easily now if you have scored 200 plus short shot will be 99.5 plus so best is you target 180 plus marks out of 300 you will surely be you can say crossing the 99 barrier so here i would advise that again 
once again where to read from what to attempt what kind of questions you should handle see there will be questions in je main which are fact based there will be questions which may be, you know directly picked up from the ncert books especially this will happen in chemistry even in physics to some extent mathematics also you will get questions which are previously old iitj questions or previously asked questions you will get some questions which you will be knowing it these questions could be you know attempted very fast you won't require a lot of time thinking over it you will just have to you know match the data with the uh, like options given so here i'll advise try taking the paper again in two rounds attempting easier and moderate level questions first that itself will you know help you fetch 180 plus marks the strategy what i shared with you so 15 questions in each subject if you would have solved 45 in total 45 into 4 that's 180 plus marks this is subject to you would not done any negative uh, like you have not attempted any negative marks so you have to be all positive scores so that's that will ensure you cross the 180 plus marks as well as 99 plus you can say percentile barrier so the ncert chapters of physics and chemistry are very very important there are certain chapters which are there in jme and which are sometimes not asked in je advanced uh, you know like for for example like like in chemistry you will find like uh, uh, like there's a chapter called chemistry in everyday life environmental chemistry so these are important topics where you get questions from uh, emphasis is on the in physical chemistry you will get questions in the numerical section in inorganic p block elements uh, you have to go to the coordination compounds uh, coming to physics uh chapters like semiconductors communication systems modern physics um uh, so these kind of chapters generally students tend to leave modern physics semiconductors communication system do not ignore them there are some easy questions asked from these chapters in mathematics you get questions majorly from algebra calculus and coordinate geometry ensure you would have revised all the important formulas I think all of you must be aware that the two sessions of JE Main are organized in order to ensure the students get the best out of the two. So the, even the scores which are the best out of the two exams would be considered in preparing the final merit list of JE Main. So let's say you have secured nine, like seventy-one percentile in the first attempt, and now let's say you scored ninety-nine percentile in the second attempt. The ninety-nine percentile would be considered in, while preparing the merit list. no see it's like the idea is very simple it's balanced generally the syllabus is balanced because number of because as i said earlier you can get like questions from every chapter so when it's 11th or 12th yes there could be one or two chapters which get more than one question from 12th class but then the syllabus is entirely both 11th and 12th class you can't ignore but yes you can leave one or two chapters in case you're not very confident on those chapters but still i'll suggest solve the easy questions of those chapters you can get an easier question of that chapter so it's it, it will be wise enough if you have solved easier questions of all the chapters while you are preparing for je main let's say now only 3 4 days are left you can hardly take one or two mock tests because you you should take the mock tests in the actual timings of the exam avoid you know staying away late night and appearing three or four mock tests at a stretch that won't fetch you too much of you know a kind of examination temperament but yes uh, it's advisable to take the mock test at uh, uh, at least one or two days till before the exam date but not on uh, just last day last day you should just relax last day you should just keep thinking about your success last day is more about consolidation and maintaining the positive attitude towards the exam the last day is more about uh, keeping look uh, uh, you can looking at your health having good uh, fooding habits uh, ensuring that your mind is free from all kinds of anxiety uh, talk to your parents keep looking you know thinking about your health maintaining a positive attitude uh, reaching the examination hall on time so these are the things what you need to think on the last day last don't think about what is going to be my score last what is that i have missed don't think anything negative about yourself you have done a lot of hard work you have prepared properly believe in yourself that's going to be an added advantage if you maintain a positive attitude a day before the exam and that will also help you have a sound sleep with anxiety you won't go to sleep also easily so the best way is that maintain a positive mindset and by evening try to you know go to sleep early if possible around 10 o'clock you should uh, 9 10 o'clock you should go to sleep wake up early in the morning if you have a morning session definitely you have to reach the examination center well on time the advantage is to wake up 5 o'clock 6 o'clock in the morning because you have exam from 9 to 12 so 3 hours of you know full focus energy you have to ensure that before that exam at least 3 hours before that you have, uh, you are awake and uh, 
got ready for the exam and if your examination center is requiring you to travel at least an hour so accordingly you need to get ready well in advance do not panic so do not create a situation where you're getting into any kind of anxiety or panic so the general trends for the je main ex score to qualify for je advance somewhere around 90 percentile so it could be around 88 89 90 91 depends upon the relative uh, difficulty level of the paper but you tend to score at least 100 plus or not less than 90 marks in your je main paper that will definitely keep you you know above the 99 percentile barrier if you have secured 90 percentile and above definitely you will qualify to write the je advance exam but this will not let you get into a good nit seat so i am telling you if you want if you want to get into uh, a top nit also then definitely scoring above 97 98 percentile is a better score that way you ensure you qualify for advance as well as qualified for the good nit colleges on the other hand if you're only willing to just cross the barrier to write the je advance exam a 90 percentile score somewhere around 100 marks is going to be a a uh, fair score uh, uh, like a decent score so when you start the paper the first mistake is starting from a question which you don't know that avoid this okay then again the second mistake is starting from your favorite subject it may sometimes be the toughest let's say maths is your favorite subject and you started from maths and you started with that question of maths which consumed a lot of your time again i'm telling you maths will require time i will never tell you to attempt maths first even if maths is your favorite subject that could be a mistake start from the subject which is fact based question where you can see fact based questions objective type questions start from chemistry or physics as i again told you earlier so start with these two subjects get you know create room for solving questions of maths you will need time to solve maths questions so that will be a mistake if you start with maths okay and if that was your favorite subject and if by chance you get the toughest questions in maths that subject will make you lose lot of confidence self confidence it will break your confidence while the exam is on so here it's advisable start from physics chemistry or, or like either one of physics or chemistry and then move to maths and then guess work that's another mistake sometimes students say okay fine attempting all questions is also a mistake you should not attempt all questions if you're not sure of until unless you know every answer then you should attempt all the questions but in in case you are in a hurry to complete the paper you tend to feel that i should attempt all the questions maybe i have already scored out of positives these five negatives won't harm me that much that's a mistake even one question wrong may change your percentile drastically you may tend to lose the computer science seat in that top nit which you are getting and you will have to compromise with electrical engineering in the same nit then how that's a mistake i'll say avoid it in first place so and of course losing your self confidence is another mistake getting panicked one day before the exam is another mistake staying overnight awake a one day before the exam is another mistake talking to too many people trying to figure out how i have prepared is another mistake you know yourself very well you have prepared you are already prepared you have already taken the january session that itself is a proof that you have undergone this kind of exam earlier so this is definitely for those who have attempted the january session for those who have not attempted the january session they will uh, these students could have taken the mock test of the january session and learned from their mistakes so definitely do not avoid uh, do not repeat the same mistakes i'll rather say that that so you allow yourself to understand that you are prepared and uh, there's no there should be no room for any kind of mistakes as of now let's say some student has not done really well scored less than 90 percentile of course the second attempt is a blessing for them so they can use the second attempt to cross that 90 percentile barrier as well as they can improve their scores to getting them to the top nits so that's one importance of the second attempt certain students who were on the verge of not crossing the 99 percentile but really good they could have cracked it above 99.5 percentile they could have got even 100 percentile for them there's another chance to you know prove yourself you can get full scores for those students who marginally lost one or two marks and uh, like say, uh, let's say one or two questions couldn't get the 100 percentile can get their dreams come true for them from the second attempt so these are the two categories of student i believe and there's a third category of student who had dropped the repeaters whose syllabus was not over last year they did not do well and now they are trying to give their so for them this is the last attempt 
So here, the, 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 I'll say the repeaters have this attempt as the last attempt in terms of getting into JE Advanced because of course there are three attempts for JE Main but for JE Advanced there are only two attempts. So for them, this is the last attempt to get a very good score and um, they should take it very seriously because for them, getting into JE Advanced is also important as well as getting into a top NIT is equally important. So the repeaters need to take this seriously. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.